Now, as you probably noticed already, I make a lot of videos about mover boards. Thus, I also get asked a lot by people if the mover boards they're planning on buying are actually good or not. To which I can only say one thing. Stop asking. <gasps> now, I'm not trying to sound dismissive or rude, you know, I'm not like, <laughs> look at those plebeians over there who can't even choose a proper mover board and they have to ask me for help. <laughs> Typical. What I'm trying to say is that you probably already know how to pick out the best mobile board for you, and the process of doing so is actually much easier than you probably think. The question I get asked the most often is something along the lines of, is mobile board X good for CPU-Y? So the first thing you have to do is take that question and throw it into the bin. And then throw that bin into a black hole on the other side of the universe, because that's how irrelevant it is. Because the thing is, as long as you don't go overboard, most mobile boards will be absolutely fine for most CPUs. Granted, if you try to pair a 1300KS with literally the cheapest B660 mobile board you can buy right now, the performance might take a hit. But as long as the mobile board has good enough VRM cooling to support high-end CPUs, and most of them have, then you're gonna be absolutely fine. And just by the budget of your build, you'll probably be guided towards the ideal motherboard for your personal build. People who are gonna be buying a 1300KS are the people who are going to gravitate and look at more expensive motherboard models first. Now, of course, if you are on a tighter budget, you can spend a bit more on a super fast CPU and then cheap out on a motherboard a bit more, that's absolutely fine, as long as, once again, you don't go overboard. So as long as the CPU matches the socket on the motherboard, you really don't have to do too much more thinking about if there'll be a good pairing. And what I love to have a great guide about how much money you have to spend on a motherboard, or what kind of tier of motherboard you should have for what kind of tier CPU, the issue is that it gets very complicated very fast. AMD's lineup for this generation is pretty messed up, with B650 and X670 chipsets as standard, but also extreme variants that kind of overlap a lot. So you end up with PCs like mine, where you have a B650 motherboard, technically the step-down chipset, running a Ryzen 7950X. And Intel isn't much better, because while you do have the C790 and B760 motherboards of this generation, you also have the cheaper and better value last-gen motherboards that are still technically compatible. There is a reason why I kind of format my motherboard videos in the same vein. Talking about VRM and power delivery, PC expansion, storage, rear I.O., alongside any other interesting tidbits or features that a motherboard may have. And I do it in that way because that's pretty much all that matters to you, the end consumer. See, I can't answer for you what motherboard will be the best for you. Only you can answer that one. I don't know exactly how many USB Type A ports you need, how many SATA connectors you need, or how many PC 1X or 4X slots you may need. That's the kind of stuff that you have to figure out by yourself, hence why I laid out the way I do in my videos. So the process of picking out your ideal mobile board is really simple. Number one, figure out your budget. Number two, figure out what features you need. And third and most important step, Watch all my videos to find out exactly which mobile boards fit those parameters exactly. And I've done a lot of them, so you probably find one that suits you. And if you're ready to shoot your shot and buy one, then our Amazon links to them are gonna be down in the video description below. And while you're here, maybe check out Patreon as well, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Justin Rage, Ella Ronyak, Balash Velka, Max Summon, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, Jesse Herbman, and Sean Odgan. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.